Hello, my awesome and amazing Aquariuses. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot. Here to bring you another general collective reading, New Moon in the Sign of Gemini, and what does it mean to your zodiac sign, and or what kind of messages does Gemini have for you, okay? Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Aquarius viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Through the power of the numbers and so it is and of course rolling the dice to see what i need to shuffle the deck to power of number eight some of you aquariuses could be dealing with a leo or a virgo born in the month of august Power of number seven, you could also be dealing with a Cancerian or a Leo born in the month of July. Wow, power of number seven again. So we have the 877, which equals up to the number 22. Some of you are also dealing with um, an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February and or yes, of course, you're could be an Aquarius born in February as well as January, okay? Some of you could have been born in 1972, 1977, or possibly 1978. You could have been born in 1982 or possibly 1987. You may be 22, 27, and or 28 years of age, okay, for some of you. All right, so power of a number 22 for the beautiful star sign of Aquarius New moon in the sign of Gemini. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Trusted ancestors of my Aquarius viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective energy, please? What does Aquarius need to know with this new moon in Gemini. Show me what's up. Strength card, power of number eight, came up on the first roll of the dice. And yes, some of you could be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo born in the month of August. Something about willpower right now or having courage or determination possibly to go the distance, finding that inner strength with inside of you, Aquarius. Okay, the lovers, you could be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancerian born in the month of June. Somebody here may want to revitalize a connection with you, Aquarius. Queen of Pentacles. There could be a mother figure that is also blocking your romantic life or somebody here wants to marry you. There could be an unexpected marriage proposal. Show me the Queen of Pentacles, please. Some of you could also have a mother figure that is a Taurus, a Virgo, and or a Capricorn. The Hierophant. This could be about marriage, commitment, dedication, devotion. Somebody wants to marry you, Aquarius, or come in with some strong commitment, uh, create a new foundation or roots or plant new seeds with you. Your willpower, your strength, your courage could be tested possibly by a mother figure. There's a tower moment coming up or unexpected. 
It might be an unexpected confession of truth. You could be dealing with a Scorpio and or possibly an Aries, a bottom of the deck, page of pentacles. Somebody could be coming in with small communication. More specifically, could be coming in from a Taurus, Virgo, and or Capricorn. What is the tower? Temperance energy. My God in heaven, uh, Aquarius, you're getting one, two, three, four, five. You got five major arcanas going on right now. I'm going to put this down here. We're going to move this over here so you guys can see the cards a little bit more. There's a breakdown in foundation or a breakdown in religious beliefs. You may be going from religious ways of thinking into a more spiritual essence, a more metaphysical essence of belief systems, okay? Um, you could be dealing straight up with a uh, Sagittarius. Message from temperance, what is this? Guilt, remorse, regret, sadness, loneliness. Um, this person may have, if you dealt with this person before in the past, could have been dealing with a water sign, a cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Right now, you could feel like you're just riding the wave or waiting for your ships to come in, Aquarius. I'm going to go into the Hidden Truth Oracle. Some, it feels to me, Aquarius, for some of you guys in a situation that you're feeling stuck or trapped by a mother figure. get down to the bottom of this trusted ancestors and my Aquarius viewers and subscribers what is the hidden truth in regards to this person that Aquarius has dealt with unless if this is a family member coming in what is this I feel you leaving me behind ah I wish I could share my good news with you so somebody I feel wants to convey some form of deep seated emotions towards you Aquarius I replay our conversations over and over again. Okay. <clears throat> so somebody's all up in their head about you, Aquarius, or you could be all up in your head about a specific person or a family member. I'm starting to understand our connection. It feels to me that this is somebody who abandoned you before in the past. My life is not as together as it seems. Somebody's finances have been off balance. Maybe that's yours, Aquarius, or maybe this person from the past or in the current moment. I lost myself for a little while. So this person um, had very little faith or belief maybe in the connection at one point in time. You speak to me through music. There could have been a particular song that the two of you shared uh, that was like your song. Um, somebody's coming in unexpectedly out of the blue or there's a foundation here that needs to be shaken up in order for some form of peaceful resolution uh, to happen here. Hang on one second. I'm going to go into um, I'm going to go into the Kipper deck. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, somebody's concerned or you're concerned about someone in particular, wondering if this person's going to reach out to you, Aquarius. I feel like it is. It's like, yeah, unexpected income. 
right now somebody could be trying to financially help you out in this current moment in time or you're trying to find means or ways to create more additional support income but there's a shakeup in a foundation or a shakeup in a relationship situation or something has to come crumbling down to the ground in order for a new beginning to happen message of concern wow concern and message of concern so somebody's going to be reaching out about someone but it could also be here too that somebody definitely wants to marry you because again we've got the hierophant energy let me pull that out the marriage card this could be an ex an ex-spouse ex-husband ex-wife Three of Wands, something about the ships coming in in regards to a long-term committed partnership. Three of Cups, celebrating, reuniting. You could celebrate or reunite maybe specifically with this person over the next three minutes, three hours, three days. Could take three more months, so a 90-day cycle. Um, somebody's feeling sad or lost or lonely without you or there's a feeling of grief or sadness or a relationship has to come to an end completely in order to have peace of mind, peace of heart. So there's certainty and then there's uncertainty just because right now your foundation could feel like, you know, you're maybe you feel Aquarius that you're not on solid ground right now. If you were dealing with an ex, ex-girlfriend, ex-boyfriend, ex-husband, ex-wife, they could have left you feeling depleted, uh, left you with nothing, maybe left you in some form of a poverish uh, state on a financial level. They could have broke the vows of marriage, um, could have been infidelity, cheating before in the past. Um, somebody feels bogged down or maybe possibly burdened by a parental figure, and this parental figure might be blocking blocking from real true happiness and or soulmate activity. So I kind of feel Aquarius that your protection needs to be heightened right now. Mental clarity, working in on your third eye and your crown chakra to start receiving more spiritual downloads because we have the guardian angel card, but your trusted ancestors do have your back. Okay. Um, but this person, I feel like this person that you know of or who you think it might be, they've got a lot of guilt, remorse, regret, which means that there's some form of a judgment call going on here. Okay. So use your best wisdom and discernment at this time. So if somebody comes forward with a confession of love for you and they say that they want to marry you and be with you, some of you could unexpectedly get married all of a sudden out of nowhere. But I say, think things through, especially if this is a person from the past and they have this, we'll say, spiritual awakening because I look at the tower next to uh, the Hierophant, just kind of like this revelation because obviously they're clearly stating, I'm understanding, I'm starting to understand our connection and what the purpose was, okay? So... My awesome and amazing Aquariuses, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, take care.